Okay, it says we are live. Good morning, people. This is Peg and Shell coming at you live from Art Joy Sharing. This is Thursday, May 14th at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, if you're catching this later, try and join us in our live chat because we do this each Thursday and we'd love to have you join us. Good morning, Shell. Good morning. And I see we have... Vicky's in the house this morning already. Good morning, Vicky. We have Marie. Hi, Marie. Hi, Sybil. They're starting to roll in here. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been one of those weeks, guys. I hope you guys have had a good week. I know everybody is feeling the pressure from being stuck at home and all that kind of stuff. I... Uh, I'm tired. I've been doing a lot of work around the house. Hey, good morning, Cindy. Hi, Barbara. Hello, hello, people. So um, I'm just going to take this at my own pace today. Uh, mm -hmm. Shell and I, you know, when we do this many times, we have not planned anything out. <laughs> we just This morning, definitely, I have not planned anything out. I've got a bunch of papers. I've got a Remember my butterfly journal? I've got this out here because I was thinking about did I want to build some collage components to go into this. Um, and I've got some watercolor papers. These are things that I've already got some uh, background started on. And we'll just see where we go from there. What are you heading towards there today, Michelle? Well, I know we're making collage components. And I just like to make... Um, I like to make little things that I can put on, um, often with the gel plate, which I have my gel plate out. I also have a couple other ideas of things I want to try. And I've just got some uh, some very thin, like, tissue papers, used tea bag paper, and then I've got some magazine paper. And I'm just going to mess around with some stencils and some different products and just, you know, play. And then I might also actually work on a collage while I'm doing it. If I come up with some collage components I want to put on this <clears throat> wood panel, which is a five by seven, I think. No, it's a six by eight wood canvas. I might, I might actually make something. All right. Good morning, Andrea. So glad you guys can join us today. Um, I miss my friends. Miss getting out to see people. So it's good that we can all hang here together. Yes. And the first thing I'm going to do is get some art guard on me because I always make a mess. Oh, I'm going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I always make a mess. See my right? I've been on, but I didn't get any art guard on yet. Um, welcome, Andrea and Marie and Frana. People are rolling in. Barbara. Yeah, hi, Prana. So, yeah, get all greased up here. Maybe I can get that stuff. I've still got stuff under my nails from the other day. <laughs> Just <Yeah. saying. laughs> I was filling I was filling my I don't know if you guys use these or not. I, I like to fill these um, water reservoir pens with um, ink and I was filling these up. I made a real nice mess out of that. So I've got a tag. I'm going to start with simple. I'm going to take a tag and glue it down. Uh, I was going to use some <coughs> I was going to use some matte medium but I think I'll just use a glue stick. Make it simple. Got my uh, Delusions glue stick here. If I can get the lid off of it. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm hey, Becky, it. how are you today? Yeah, some of, some of these lids. I mean, I like that they click in place because then um, you can make sure that they close up. But then when you have hands like mine, you sometimes can't get the lid off. So I guess I'll use a different glue stick. It's back to my YooHoo. So I'm just going to glue up the back side of this tag. Make sure I get it coated good. And I'm going to stick it down somewhere on this paper. 
And we're off. We got to start going here. Well, I was just using a stencil under a piece of magazine paper. This is just kind of fun to do. Um, these are stencils that um, I've mostly cut apart. Like I, I like the cut apart ones sometimes the best of all of them. So I have them on a little ring and it's just fun to just lay an interesting piece of lightweight paper over there and just sand. And this is a fun way to make a collage component. Because you can kind of sand the the uh, paper, uh, the ink off the top of the paper and then it, it lets the stencil underneath show through in an interesting way. And I think that the dark ones, the dark paper is the best to use. Something that's not identifiable so much. That's the reason that I've torn it into bits. Like, I don't like this piece over here because I can see that it is something. But I like this. Where it's just got a subtle pattern on there from the stencil. And then this was another one I just did with one of my favorite stencils. But I can still see the writing. So to use this, what happened to my... To use this, I would just tear the parts off I don't like. Like I just don't I want the don't want the writing because I can still see it. If you could completely obliterate it, then it works better, I guess is what I'm saying. So it's like if you end up with little collage things like this, and then you can you can change them up a little bit if you want to by by putting something else on them, like I was thinking of maybe putting a coat of some of these ices on there because I haven't even opened them yet. I don't know what colors they are. I think I got the earth set. This one's going to be too dark, I think. Coffee. This one is beige, I guess. It's in French. I don't know. And then I think this one might be that sunshine one. Yeah, sunshine. These are the only three colors I have. But let's try the sunshine. Let's see. I'm gonna pull out this stencil. I don't know why it's it's uh, kind of calling to me today. It's more architectural. I don't think I want it to go all the way up to the top there i'm going to move it over because you can pick the portion of the stencil you want this is i think this is a carolyn doobie stencil um and i i should find out what building this is ah I'm trying to get this stuff off this welcome carla and rennie and cindy glad to see you here But I'm just gonna, gonna get some contrast going with this black. Okay, so I guess this stuff just comes up and out. I've got a, um, a spreader. Oh yeah, see that's interesting because then it changes the, it's a very translucent product. It changes the, the look of the scratchiness that I put on there. It's kind of cool. Have a different look. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. Yeah, you've got to set these things aside to dry. Um, I'm gonna try a different color. That's the sunshine one, which just gave it kind of a warm glow. And then this one is called. Beige, I guess. I mean, that's a stupid color for it. Name for the color, but well, there's got to be a beige, right? Maybe it says some more, something else on here. I don't know. So it looks like I've got some it's in French, not even in English. On this, so I'm just gonna take another one of these tags. And stick it down on here. Because hmm. I must have run this through the Xyron at some point. 
and I need to use it up. I guess I'll try a little bit of this on there. Oh yeah, you guys warm know what a Xyron warm. is? You guys have a Xyron? I have one, but I don't think I have any um, glue paper uh, that goes to it. And I think they don't even make it anymore. So I probably should get rid of it. They uh they've changed the size on it over the years. I think they're like nine and a half inches now for the big <laughs> one. And I mean, I've got, I think I've got just about every size there is. And I've got refills because I would go and buy them when I had a coupon. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is like this. When you get a coupon and you don't know what you want, you go out and buy refills for things like glue and, you know, Xyron machine, stuff like that. Brown says she has one. Hi, Peggy. Well, that little X machine comes in handy for those small embellishments you know I've always liked that one so there's another tag uh, let's see let me get some let me get something else going here I've got um, two tags now now these I like to do tags because you can do them for tuck pockets and things um, and those are great embellishments. I've got a, I've got a bunch of envelopes out here, and uh, these are great to use for that kind of stuff too. These are just your standard. I mean, you can get these at the dollar store. And I'm just going to seal this uh, envelope up. Yeah, she, uh, Carla says she has a couple. Yep, I get that. Okay, so I have just um, sealed the edge of that. And I'm going to cut that off because I want to want to create an opening, but I didn't want it where the envelope opening was. Let's see if I can get in here. Maybe not. I'll just use scissors. You know, when it doesn't fit, you just use scissors or a ruler or something else. So I'm just going to take the very edge of that off, maybe an eighth of an inch of this envelope off. That's pretty cool. When I sanded this one, I sanded it so hard that I got holes in it. Which, if I put something underneath, will allow it to show, which is just kind of cool. So, I'm going to save that one, too. But these are pretty fun to make. So, I've got a little bit of this black paint still sitting out here. I should do something with it. Um, let's get this tag and a stencil. I don't know if I want that one. That one's pretty big. I get a little, a little one, a little one. Here we go. That's more to my liking. I wonder what this one will do if I. Oh, that stuff is drying already. Get something underneath it. So I'm just going to. Stencil in a few areas here. I think this one would look better if I stenciled over the top of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on the gel plate. Kind of making a mess. I don't know. What color would I want if I was going to gel, gel print on that? You just have an interesting pattern. It's like a pile of belts. <laughs> I just think it looks cool. So sometimes you can gel print on stuff like that. Or even the backside looks cool. Except for not the part about the rebate. I don't like the part about the rebate. Okay, so I'm going to grab a 
Wipe here. And do a little cleanup. I got it. Over there. A rusty color. Hi, Judy. People are rolling in, Peg. They're Yay. rolling in. Good to see you, everybody. So, I've got a little bit of this on my cloth. I've got this watercolor paper that's got a little something on it. This has more of a circular pattern. So I think I'm going to take my... This one that's got a circular pattern to it, and, it's, and this has some of that paint that I cleaned off. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that in here. Just let these off there, I think. Because no sense wasting it, right? Okay, so a little bit of that going on. Still got our tags going on. Um, I was pulling out some papers. I might work with that whole butterfly book thing. I pulled pulled some of these. Come on, come out, paint. Why are you being so much? Let me get some ink. And I'm not sure what color I want because I'm not sure what page I'm going to put it on. Let me see. I think one of those greenish, I think something like this, but see that red? That red and green contrast is what I'm kind of looking for. So let me grab a Distress Oxide in Barn Red. And I'll use a little of that. On the edge of this paper. And then I also want some kind of contrast to that, so I'm going to grab a and here's a scattered straw. Just clean that off. This is regular. This is regular distress ink. And scattered straw. I think I'm gonna need a baby wipe. I'm kind of making a mess. That's the name of the game. Make yes, a mess. It is. <laughs> Somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. It's all right. I've got other things I can use. I've got a pair of scissors here. I'm just going to rough up the edge. Because I like it. I like it roughed up. You have a lot of paint on here. <laughs> and and then I'm going to grab some of that. Um, what did I mark? This is some of that eye zinc. And I think I'm just going to put some of that down. 
for a little contrast. Sounds fun. I'm just going to use this little, um, what do you call this thing? Silicone brush. This is a Master Touch silicone brush, one inch. And I just want to add a little of this. Give it an aged effect. This stuff dries pretty quickly. So there's a little bit of this on here. Pull it together. And then I will take my... Oh, you know what? I've still got some on here. Let's do a little, a little on this tag too. As long as I've still got some. This has kind of a gloss finish. I'm thinking about stacking those things, maybe with some something like this. Oh, a little page like embellishment. I think that could be fun. Hi, Marion. 2 a.m. Oh, my goodness. And Judy's here. Hi, Judy. She's in Australia. Okay, cool. Very cool. I always wanted to go there. My uh, cousin worked in Australia for a number of years. I'd like to go there too, and also New Zealand. Okay, so these are going to be. Yeah, I got a couple of tanks. I got this started. I've got these um, library pockets too, which I've had forever. A, I don't know. Reminisce is a company that sells paper now, but they started out as a little scrapbook uh, company here locally. <laughs> so you might know the name because they still have papers on the market, but they went wholesale instead of retail. So. And I, Basil Library Pockets, I mean, I, I've had this stuff around forever. So I think I will make a pocket because, you know, these tags and things work real well on a page in a pocket like this. So I think I have... I have some more of this paper, which I can use on here. Maybe I just want a gel print today. <laughs> it feels like I want a gel print. Well, maybe you should. Maybe I should. Most of my collage stuff that I use is gel printed. A lot of it is. Yeah. Mm. These tea papers seem like they would be interesting with this glaze on them, though. I'm going to try that. What color is this? Let's find out. It's kind of a rose. Uh, I'm to get these little pieces of plastic off. Let's see. This is, this pocket is mm, about three and a half inches. So if I cut if I cut a piece of this Or tear it at three and a half. It still has some stick them on the back. Oh, I forgot to get a shoot. Forgot to get a tub of water to um, 
throw these things in. You need to get this uh, this ice stuff. You need to get it off your stencils right yep. away. Yep. So I need to get a bucket of water now that I just put some on a stencil. <laughs> So that I'll have something to throw it into. So this is a disaster because it's got partial stick and partial nut. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tuck it. I want to tuck it in behind here. Also, it's very strange that I seem to be right now into these neutral colors and natural colors, which are not my thing. What has gotten into me? Well, you're in a new phase. I guess I am. That's cool. It turned out really cool. I bet it'll be cool. Stuff, I love how translucent it is. Yeah. And then on the you know the see-through paper and then yeah that's cool i gotta grab a bucket of water i'll be right back well i'm just tearing everything up here today it's all right we have fixes for that Because after all, it is collage. Okay. And I think I'm oh, gonna. I'm right in here. What do I want to put down no. there? No. Yucky. Yucky water. You don't want that. Come back under here. So yeah, that's really cool. I'll let that one dry. Well, I got some on my plate, which I don't think that really matters. I just want to mess around. I just want to know what I want. Maybe I'll try to lighten up a little bit. <laughs> Why am I obsessed with these dark colors? <laughs> Lighten up. Yeah. Step away from the brown. Who uses brown? I like uh, brown. <laughs> Brown's a good color. Yeah. Well, that turned out really cool. Hopefully it'll dry up really nice. Hmm, I have nothing to put my excess paint on, so I guess I better get another little piece out. Oh, yeah, I did have this piece. This one was turning out very interesting, so... Maybe it needs a little aqua on it. I don't know. Does it? It's an interesting piece. It's going to need more. Something. What do I want to do? Yeah, I'll use this one again. Tis a weird stencil set. Okay, so now I need some glue and some other stuff. I'm thinking I might make another. I need some place to dry all these things. Another place to tuck something right there. All right, so. That means I need something decorative, like some washi tape. No, I haven't tried Google Meet yet, Becky. Uh, we weren't that thrilled with the previous Google, so 
<laughs> we'll let everybody else try it out first, I think. <laughs> oh, did you see that thing, though, that they're going to have um, Facebook group meetings? I saw that this morning on, on, on Google. We, they're going to have Facebook group meetings? No, on Facebook. Like inside of your group? Well, they, they're already doing that with Zoom. Yeah, but it's not Zoom. It's Facebook. <laughs> I saw it this morning, and I was like, wow. Well, I don't know. I, I can't keep up with all the changes right now because they're just doing all kinds of stuff. Well, this was just on Facebook this morning in a group that I, you know, I was just looking around on there, and yeah. a group came up. It was actually the Stencil, Stencil Club group. You know, oh. it said at the top that, there, that a new service was coming, that, they, that you could have a group meeting, which means we could do that in our group too yeah it wouldn't just be them would you I guys be interested in that if we decided to do that yay or nay would you guys like to have a get together i mean we can kind of do that now with zoom yeah but it would be like you know you 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 go to our group and then you're like, oh, well, there's a meeting. Like, it'll be like when you log on and you see that there's a live. And, you yeah. you know, I, we wouldn't have to plan it so far in advance, I guess is what I'm saying. We wouldn't have to post a number and all that stuff. It would just be right there in the group. In the group, group. yeah, yeah. Which seems kind of cool. I mean, if you wanted to have a Facebook get-together. And it says everybody can be on the screen. On the cool. On the Facebook screen? On the Facebook meeting screen. Oh, brother. It would be like a Zoom meeting. That would be kind of, wow. <laughs> That'd be kind of busy. Well, it would depend on how many people you had. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw that thing the other day where Mary Beth and them were doing something with 100 people. Oh, so, I didn't go to that because I knew uh, that it was going to be 100 people. Yeah, exactly. I, I wouldn't want to be involved in something. Nope. Like I already knew that was going to be like that. Was that the, her wine and whatever? I don't know. I, I saw that and it's like, okay, good luck with that one. No, no, thank but, you. You know, it's okay. You know, like in YouTube here, you can be in the group and you can chat and all of that. But to have that many video cameras going and that much background noise going and I mean, that's kind of a disaster waiting to happen. Why can I not ever get these things to work? I want them to. All right. Oh, my, uh, my stencil just stuck to the paper. I hate it when it does that. It's coming out really cool. Look at that. Look at that little bit right there with the blue and rust colors together. It looked really cool. Cool. Hmm. I was like, that's neat. And then I got distracted by this stupid stuff getting all stuck to itself. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is we've got a pocket back here. Now I've created another little tuck space here. I'm just gluing that down. And then I'm going to take some washi, cover up that seam. You're actually making stuff. I'm trying to. <laughs> trying to. Rennie says, would she have to get dressed to watch the show? Only if you wanted to be on camera. Probably wouldn't. Probably some people would not appreciate it. If you were <laughs> on camera with that, you know, in your yeah, probably probably not gonna. We would have to moderate the nudes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Although some people would probably enjoy it, but other people would not, and you know, it would be a thing. But anyway, just saying. I was I was talking to my kid on Mother's Day. You know, I hardly ever hear from him or anything, and. He teaches some math classes over at um, uh, University of California in Santa Cruz. Yeah. And I was asking him, 
how are your classes? You know, what's what's happening with that? What's it like? He said, he gets on there onto a Zoom meeting. He says, the students don't want to turn on their cameras. So nobody's on screen, which I kind of think they should be. They should have to turn on your cameras so that you know that they're there. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can see their name probably or whatever, but you they could just turn it on and then just walk away and go play video games and not even attend your class. But he said, basically, he's just there talking at nothing. Wow. He says it's terrible. So yeah, they're probably going to have to come up with some, some rules or something because apparently they're, they're planning on having virtual school in all the California colleges or some of the California state colleges, I guess, announced that they're doing that. Yeah. And he just feels like, wow, you're paying a lot of money to go to school at UC Santa Cruz and this is what you get, you know? Well, I mean, I've, I've taken distance ed classes, uh, but you're not in a classroom. Right. Um, and you're just mostly getting the work and working through the work and sending it into the professor. I mean, this is a whole different thing because they want now they want to do all these classrooms where an instructor's actually there. <laughs> actually, it was an instructor that was walking away before because you just sent the stuff to them and hoped that they would review it and get back to you. Oh, well, my kid's actually teaching the class. He's yeah. there he's teaching a class. Some kids maybe ask some questions, but mostly he just feels like he's talking to nobody. Yeah. And he, he doesn't like it. He doesn't enjoy teaching that way. He says, you know, nobody even asks questions, really. Yeah. Well, and the other, the other distance one that I did was where the instructor was at a distance and I sat in a classroom. And it, it was the classroom was monitored, uh, and that's different well, too, you know. So it's that like makes sense though, because then the classroom's monitored, and they, you know, you're at least they know you're there. Yeah, yeah. Because they take this is just like they the kids log in, in, and that's it. They log in. Yeah, and they're not even told that they have to turn on the camera, so you don't even know they're probably over playing video games. Yeah, could be. Could be. These right. are really cool. So I'm this with these translucent ice things. <clears throat> these things all have to dry though before I can use them on anything. I want them to to dry. Yeah. I tried to lighten up, and uh, that's as light as I got. Hmm. Okay, so we've got got our tuck places on here. We've got our pocket. We've got another tuck place here. And then we can decorate the front of this. So what did I do with my pin? I always lose the pin on these things. Hey, Terry. Hi. Hi, Shelly. Uh, messenger rooms for group getting the group together has never been easier. Create a room and membership. We'll be able to hang out on video instantly. Yeah, that's the thing <laughs> that I saw. You can just make a room and so basically it's like what we used to have with Google. Yeah. Hangouts. Yeah, 30 microphones at once. Not a good thing. Now everybody needs to uh, mute if they're gonna be there and then yeah. only unmute when they are speaking and then Mute back up when they are not. <laughs> Sybil, I have no idea because I haven't even investigated it because we have our own ways of doing things. I mean, like I, I Zoom with a number of different people and that works. Um, and Zoom can connect directly to Facebook. 
So you can you can be in a room like Shell and I are in a room here, and we can broadcast to Facebook. So I mean, there's there's so many things coming out of this now because everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. So I don't I don't know I you know got enough other well, things. Well, we to know we connect. They're trying to give us ways to connect. Right, which we asked for. We did ask for those things. Um, let's see, what have I got here? Got a few. few embellishment things here. Let me see what I want to pull out. This could work. This is a <laughs> no, I've got black canvas piece. That's not lightening up at all. You could just put a although I think I want some color on the edge there. It's also fun to sometimes make stencil prints with the excess paper that you have. This makes an interesting collage element, something like that. It's just using the excess paint on your stencil. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested in seeing how it all works, you know. I think Becky was the one that brought it up. If you're gonna if you're gonna do it, Becky, shoot me a shoot me a message and let me know when you're gonna do it, and I'll try to join you guys and see what it's like. Oh no! What are you doing? Getting out crazy alcoholics. I'm just putting some dark around the edge of this. A little oh, piece of fingers. canvas. Put that on there. And let's see, we should probably add a something else to that. What else have I got here? I've got some, oh, I've got some coffee, or what are these? These are not coffee, those are um, canning jars. This could go on a recipe page or something. Um, should have put some... Gloves on. <laughs> Dumb girl. Oh well. So this little thing. Could go in there as an embellishment. I can tuck some other little things in here. What else do I have? Oh, here's some more stuff. More stuff, more stuff. Um, has some numbers. That would be kind of fun on this. Let's do some color. Let's do some color on this. Uh, let's just 
do some ink real quick. Grab a one of contrast, but maybe not that much of one. Let's get a archival. Blossom and let's get a little fern green in here. See what that looks like. done that on this. Give it a little more dimension. Right? And let's do some numbers. Scissors here on this messy desk. <clears throat> That's going to take some more blue, I think. Because that ink is still wet. Could dry it. That would help. But you know me. That would mean you have to dry it. That would take dry time. Yes. <laughs> oh, why can't I not get that in the spot? Here we go. Okay, so just gonna. Put this on the edge it here. It would have been nice if it was just Get my rag. Clean up any excess glue. It's too busy dipping around to remember. So I should probably just imagine that me dipping around. And this could have. What else have I got out here on the table? Whoops. I just have a whole bunch of flowers. It just dropped all over the place. Nothing to my wet wipe. I lost my wet wipe. Here's one of these ones. Fell out. They said, "Put me on something." <laughs> it was speaking to you. Yeah, you know when they fall out on the table, it's kind of like, "Put me on something." Okay, this sucks. Okay, so that's that. I think I need some. I've got a big arrow. I can go on there. This is going to go in here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Wrong colors. 
Nope. Not liking it. Which means I'll have to make something else to go in there. I think so. Which means I might have to use this tag instead. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I can do that. And I think instead of the arrow, I'll get one of these smaller, smaller doodah ditties. Yeah. Okay, so let's decorate. Let's decorate this tag. Um let me grab some other embellishment stuff here. Put this beside. Didn't find anything in there. Got all kinds of stuff here. Right oh, you know what I've got here? Um, I have these guys, which have all kinds of stuff. Is that tag? She would be kind of cool. Let's see what she looks like. Hi, Diane. Ninth week working from home. Oh, you poor thing. Well, you know. My daughter worked from home for a long time, and she really didn't find it that bad. She liked working from home. Some people might be sad to go back to work after all of this. I don't know. Mine's not going back. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah. Yep. He loves it. Some people are very productive from home, you know? Yeah. All right. So... Oh, I threw out two of them. So, she's okay, but she's not really what I was looking for. Just not finding what I'm looking for today. Sometimes you don't. Know. 
Is this thing ever going to dry? Probably needs some Dina. Maybe this is too antique. -y. That's what it is. This is just this is just not working for me here. All right, so this is going to change places and go over to this piece because I can do that. You can. And stick. I don't like that color either. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Hate to be so indecisive today. Hmm. Sometimes you just don't want that. You don't know what you want exactly, and you know you just don't. You know you just don't want that. Yeah, I'm not feeling <laughs> it. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what I want, but it isn't that. <laughs> it happens to me. Well, maybe this. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. Still too big. All right, I might just have to draw something. You know? Or oh, here we go. This has the right contrast. Yeah, okay. I like the green. I like the. Well, actually, I like the little. I like the little pony unicorn. I like the. Okay, I must be in the right book now. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bunting. I can go on there. Get rid of that. Come on, don't do that. Oh. Yeah. Do imaginary.
Anyway. I don't know. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of that sentiment. Lucky to be working. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of them that are not. Oh, the pesky corners. I tell you. Really need a pen here. I want to use some of this because it's so cool. Just I'm not sure where. Okay, I'm not sure who you're talking to about the Zoom thing. Um, About what? Trying to scroll back. Judy's saying that the other thing would be easier to do than Zoom. Oh, they're ta still talking about that. And thing. well, I'm just I'm just trying to read some of the comments because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I get in my own zone and yeah, we really trying, trying to go back and <laughs> connect here, but um. I actually have a Zoom account, so for me, it's not an issue. Um, so, I mean, if we wanted to do Zoom in our Facebook group, we could do that. Well, but it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be where everybody's coming into a Zoom room. It would be kind of like where we're doing it like here and broadcast to Facebook. Yeah, but we can just do this. So why would we do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, you know, unless people, because I don't know if other people have trouble with YouTube. 
on whatever device they're using. I mean, you know, you guys have to tell us if if the devices that you have work with the different software, you know, because there's Instagram and there's Facebook and there's YouTube and there's Zoom and there's this new Google thing. And it's like, you know, not everybody's everything is going to work. And I've noticed on Facebook in particular, people are having difficulty with their orientation and that sort of thing, you know, depending on what they're broadcasting with. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Facebook. Facebook is terrible for live streaming because it always forces you to go into that portrait mode. Yeah. I mean, whenever, even back when we used to do occasional live streams on our other group, we had that problem. Yep. Because it doesn't want to go horizontal, which is what we really need for art. Right. It wants to go vertical. Right. You guys want to you want to see the whole picture. And I mean, even this we get complaints about because we've got two of us on here mm -hmm. saying, well, you can't see the whole desktop. Well, no, you couldn't see the whole desktop even if it was just one of us because it's a desk and I've got stuff sitting all over the place, you know. Yeah. So, but... You know, it's like today, I get in my own zone, I get quiet, you guys are talking to each other, which is good, but, you know, sometimes it's good to have more than one thing to look at, because what I'm doing might be getting boring, and you're looking at what Shell's doing, and, oh, she's doing something a little more interesting, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up for how how to do everything to to make it best for your audience and you know we certainly are open to suggestion about any of this we've tried a number of things haven't we shell oh yeah we, we always try trying things <laughs> this one works for us yeah Well, I can't see this one too, which is kind of cool. Oops. Paper only wants to tear one way. Pesky paper. Pesky paper. Yep, it's being pesky. Doesn't want to tear it that way. It only wants to tear this way. Are we having fun? I hope so. <laughs> My piece is very dark. It's very strange. Which is what collage components are all about. And I like the translucency of some of the papers that I made. I feel like I need to cover this side that I did not cover. Yeah, 
add a small Posca pen. I think I could find it. No. I did multi ball. Is that dry enough yet? So I'm not ruining another yet another pen. <laughs> That's exactly. How many pens have I ruined? <laughs> we stopped keeping count. <laughs> All because of impatience. All because of wet medium. Yep. Which I, I don't wait for it to dry. Yeah, see, it's going. It's going. Ugh. No, those are not going to work. Those are just not going to work. So... Now, what do I want? I want this to dry. That's what I want. <laughs> Have a new stencil. Have some new stencils. I kind of want, because I just uh, put a lot of paper from a specific magazine. I kind of like to use this one, but I think it's too... Hmm. I don't know. Where's my super heavy just so there it is. Okay, so that can go in there. And I need to tuck a few something, something. We'll tuck a few ice cream cones in. Yum. I like ice cream cones. And what else do I want? I like ice cream cones too. How about these make a little Something you can tuck something behind too. Because they've got little flaps on them. So you can use them as corners. You know, you can stick it on as a corner like that, or you can tuck something into it. I've still got a mess down here. So. I made, I made my mess. I need to clean that up. So I'll just glue, glue something down. Here's my little ones. Here's my little ones. Need something blingy on there. Let's see, how's this one doing? 
Oh, I was going to do this, wasn't I? All right. Maybe. Well, I had some thin papers. Got some thin paper. Not digging that. Shadow. Oh, this rusty stuff is pretty cool. Do I have two of those? Do I have two of those? I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. So, I'm going to use something else. So, let's start with some of this. Or you might have that in your stash. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't want to change this. Get to watch you play on it. Okay. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hello, people. Hello, Cindy Bagley. Uh Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to see who else is using it and see what, you know, if you guys see something that you think I ought to take a look at, tag me in it. Uh, okay, so this one with the architecture, I think it's going to take some pen work, you know, so I'll come back with some pen work on top of that. This one, I don't know if I want to use that. I am so indecisive today, it is unreal. All right. I had this that I was painting up when I when we first came on and I think it's dry now so that being said I am going to take some matte medium and my trusty glue brush and glue that baby down Get one layer on here. And I'm going to, I'm going to fold it over on here. Because we're going to flip this up and make a pocket. just like we did with the tag. So I'm going to get this all coated up and flip this onto the back side and get that 
get that glued down. And then we can cut that out. I can see it through there. I can kind of can kind of see it. And there's the bottom. So what I have now is that envelope and we've created a pocket. So decide what I want to what direction I want to go, whether I want to go this way or that way. I think what I want to fold, I don't really like this yellow. But I think, where's my tag? If I put my tag in here, I need enough room for it to fit this way. Or I could put the tag coming out this way. So let's put the tag coming out this way. Should have thought more about how I was putting the color on there. All right, so if I'm doing that, this tag is going to fit in the pocket here, come up this way. We still have room for a tag behind here. You know, so I can make another tag to go in here this way and I can make another tag to go cut this out real quick. I had some tags out. Not sure where I put them. Let's cut this out real quick. So this could go in this way. Might have to trim it out just a little bit. Just to make sure I have room for everything. Oh, didn't cut that very square. Okay. So if I put this in here and I put some double stick in there behind like so, to make a pocket for that. And I'm going to have to come back and, and glue up these edges because I didn't do a very good job of that. But that's what the, the glue stick does. You can just come back oh. 
and hit these edges and make sure they get glued down good. But we're going to pull backer paper off of this. Fold that up and create our pocket here. Let's see if that tag is might have to come down just a little bit more. Fit there. And then this one, hmm. I have the paper here. to get my corners. Let's see, this is a scallop corner. That might be fun. And a stub corner. Let's do the scallop. That'll fit back in here. So then when you're putting this on a page, you can either, you know, do this as a tip in. Let me show you here. Where's that book? Where is that book I was working on? There's a, a book I've been working in. I want to put that on. And it doesn't matter if these hang out over the edge, that's fine. Because I like my books to do stuff like that. But here, I need to create a hinge. Some kind of something for a hinge. So I'm going to cut down I'm going to cut down some paper here for a hinge. gonna fold that maybe <laughs> maybe I'll fold that cardstock it doesn't fold that easily What did you have problems with? I had all kinds of problems with Ustream. I don't think I ever tried Ustream. Huh. Good to know. So 
So with a hinge like this, you're going to drop one side in the back here, and then this is going to get glued onto the page. So just going to take some double stick. And I'm actually going to use double stick and glue just to reinforce it. with it and it gets messier and messier. Yeah. So I've got some where's my glue? I know I got it out here somewhere. Because I've used it already today. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they, they all keep changing stuff, don't they? It's just, there's no, they just can't make it right and leave it alone or at least notify you. You know, I, I don't mind change if they tell me what they're changing and sh give me good demonstrations on how it affects me. <laughs> I just want to know, how is it going to affect me? Okay, so I got to figure out where I want this. So I think about there is where I want that piece to be. Did I do that upside down? I did that upside down. Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> then... Hello, Ingrid. Yeah, I, I think they're changing a lot of stuff on Instagram right now, too. Because they've, you know, now they've started bringing in the video component there. And yeah, never I'm enjoying there. the video thing. I make you little videos with no voiceover <laughs> well i i tried but for some reason it doesn't want to upload from my computer huh. i got it to work once and then every time i'd try to do it after that it would crash and i thought this is not worth my time and effort i did have one crash but only one time the rest of the time it worked fine So I've got a little bit of repair to do here. So are you doing it from your phone? Is that what you're doing it from? On Instagram? Yeah. Nope, I do it from my computer. Huh. I just take my edited um, piece that I put up on my, my regular channel. Yeah. And then I just take all the music out, take all the sound out, and I speed it up to eight times fast. You, you need to have your thing be less than 10 minutes. Well, unless you're doing the video. Because no, the, the video is 10 minutes. If you if you make it longer than 10 minutes, it doesn't open, upload very well. Right, and that's what I was trying to do. Is I, I could do the short one. I couldn't do the longer version. Well, my 10 minutes. I ten, 10 to 12. I've gotten one to load that's 12. Um, those all load. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I make everything eight times fast. I take out all the sound and then I just, um, well, the problem I was having was the music. You can't use music from YouTube. Right. right. So then I had to go find, so, so then I found music from this thing called Icon 8, which is another site. And it works. 
So I guess we're running into overtime. So um, Are we? I'll show you guys. Yeah. Show you guys what I got. So this is the pocket tip in with tags. And this can stand some more embellishment and stuff. But you see, I've got places to uh, decorate and add things to here. And then this was one that I had started working on thinking I was going to do something for the butterfly book. Didn't get very far with that because this stuff was drying. And then this was the little pocket um, that has the ice cream cones and this little tag here. But I mean, this can go on a page, on a card, on, you know, a gift, whatever you want to do. So that's... That's what I got for you today. Well, my project needs to dry. Um, it's got that that eye zinc on it, the ice on it. So it it, it, it needs more. Um, then I've just got a bunch of other bits. Like I really like this stuff right here with the blue and the, the brown. Um, I've got other little like components. They're almost all on tissue paper. This one, this one's interesting, very grungy. And um, I don't know, just bits, parts, more bits and parts to use. Yeah. On something. I like the way the um, ice turned out on the, well, shoot. You can't layer them together because they get stuck. I like the way it turned out on the, the tea bags, the used tea bags. They're very translucent. It'll be interesting. I put a little bit of it on my piece, but this will be um, done later. I have to just leave it and let it let the stickiness go away. Yep. So, all right, guys, that's it from us for this week. We're glad you guys could join us. Um, we'll have to continue this discussion as we watch and see what goes on with uh, all the new technology and what's coming out of this whole pandemic thing. So uh, we appreciate you being here and we'll see you again next time. I did want to answer Ingrid. Um, she wanted it to be that color yellow. What I used was these uh, Altadine, Aladine brand from uh, Seth Apter translucent glazes. That's the reason that it could glaze over that gesso so nice like that. So right. thank you. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. Next time. Bye.